Uh, we got an 06 Subaru WRX transmission, five speed. Uh, not many times do people get to see inside of one of these things. This one had a failure actually. We're gonna walk over to the other side of the case. Uh, here you can actually see your selector positions for your shifter. Between, it will actually move it in and out of each gear as they associate with the actual shifter. And the other side of the case, uh, input shaft, clutch splines. This is the thing you always see whenever you go to do your clutch. We got our front diff right here, pinion, gear, and now we're getting to our gears. So first gear, second gear, second gear on this car, well, had a catastrophic failure. Problem with second gear is the main shaft, main input shaft running through here has second gear built into it. So you have to buy a whole new main shaft. So that's kind of a problem, kind of expensive. And then on the opposite side of second gear, same thing, all the teeth are gone. And then the synchro back here got eaten up and threw stuff all over the place and took out the third, fourth actual shift pack. So now these need to be updated because you can't just buy this one and so forth. Um, so this car has a major expensive failure. The cool part about seeing all this stuff is, is a lot of guys don't get to see that guy. That would be the center diff. This sucker, in association with this output right here, will spin the front, or if it spins this one, right there is where the power comes in. So depending on how this diff wants to give power to the front diff, equals out to your four wheel drive. So if you remove this sucker and lock it, lock this gear out right here, you get a rear wheel drive Subaru. That's what a lot of those kits are, is you're removing this diff, locking it up with a straight shaft hooking to this part that goes straight input and goes up and out of the tranny. So the insides of a five speed, not crazy complex, but a lot of things going on. You're running power in through here, going down, positioning it through the center diff, back to the front diff, and then out to the rear diff. So it gets a little hairy. Overall, um, this car that had this tranny ended up buying another used one because it was cheaper. Uh, we had about 1600 bucks in parts from Subaru uh, just because we were going to freshen up a lot of things. Um, there's not a whole lot of ways to go about this cheaply other than buying a used transmission. And then an STI swap gets even more, well, way more expensive. So, again, second gear, no teeth.